Well, it's day 19 and I'm about to upgrade my personal train. Currently I'm level 9 and I have 8 of not 10 capacity. I'm going to increase that now to 9. There we go. 15 of each of the bars gone. What do I need to max it out? 20 bars of each. Silver is the one I need to get the most of. Once I've maxed out the capacity then I can start reducing the maintenance time which is going to need even more bars. Now today my main focus is going to be looking at the cinema. I want to see the kind of reputation points I get, uh, I want to see what XP I'm getting from each of the visitors and the coins. I'm also going to be looking at the kind of products that they're requesting. Now, thankfully, the cinema only needs certain machines. Okay, it needs the bakery. It needs the popcorn pot. It needs the barbecue grill. It needs the juice press. Ice cream maker. Coffee kiosk. Candy machine. And the smoothie mixer. Any other machine you don't need to worry about. Within the bakery, the only products you need to prepare are cookies, pizza, both normal pizza and spicy pizza, and the fruity de mer pizza. And the popcorn pop, you're going to need all of the different popcorns. For the barbecue grill, you'll need the hamburger, fish burgers, and fish and chips. Aha, look, I can upgrade my personal train now to 10. Cool. Thank you very much, Tom, for allowing me to get those bars. Now, I've maxed out on my visitor capacity, and now I just need to start working on my maintenance time. And to reduce that, I need 20 bars, specifically gold. But I can only upgrade when I get to reputation level 12. And for me to reach reputation level 12, I need 4,193 points. And I don't quite have that yet, but I'm working towards it. As you can see, I need quite a few bars. That's going to take ages. Okay, coming back to the barbecue grill, uh, you need hamburgers and fish burgers and fish and chips. For the juice press, at the moment it's only asking for apple juice and berry juice. For the ice cream makeup, you need all of the ice creams. For the coffee kiosk, hot chocolate seems to be a favourite. Candy machine, everything. So start making those. Thankfully, most of the requests are just one of each of the items. Uh, and with the time it takes to make some of those, you're going to be doing them for a long time. Personally, I think building up at least 10 of each and then uh, maintaining that uh, is very doable. For the smoothie mix-up, you need all of the smoothies. Uh, and basically, that's it. As you can see from my cinema, I've maxed out all of my slots. Uh, once I've maxed out those, my next focus has been to uh, reduce the service time. Uh, I want the people to be in there and out as fast as possible. I'm only probably going to upgrade to about 15% and then start working on the reputation points. Ah, oh, hand drill, thank you very much. Blocks. And tar, I think that one is. For upgrading the cinema, okay, you're going to need nails, panels and hammers. So any of those you're getting gifts, uh, please do use them.
chocolate bars they take ages jelly beans they take a long time as well popcorn that's easy yeah lollies they take a long time as well For the standard cinema, if you haven't reduced the time, it takes about uh, three hours for each movie. Uh, and the turnaround is okay, uh, but uh, you really want to be reducing that as quickly as possible. Lots of visitors tend to request this. As you can see, I need uh, seven of each of those to increase the maintenance or, or the s service time. The only thing I don't like about uh, upgrading the cinema is the fact that I have to use nails, and nails <coughs> are a pain to get. Okay, I've been quite lucky in the town that uh, I get nails from some of the visitors, but uh, when you need them elsewhere within the game, it's a bit of a challenge. I wonder what the movie is they're watching. In case you haven't already noticed, uh, every time a visitor finishes at the cinema, you'll get uh, 11 visitor reputation points, uh, 11 hearts. This goes towards your town reputation level, uh, and you need to increase that uh, just to be able to build new buildings or up make certain upgrades. Okay, all of those visitors are going to be going elsewhere within the town. Cinema's empty and the glasses are back on the outside. Every time there's a movie on, they disappear, so I'm assuming that all the movies are 3D movies. I wonder how much it costs to watch a movie in this cinema. Here in Japan it's 1,800 yen, unless you go on a special day like a Wednesday when it can be about 1,000 yen. That's okay, but uh, 1,800 yen can be quite expensive. How about in your country? What's the price these days to watch a movie? Do you have any special deals for movies? One of my favourite deals here is when I get to go to the movie theatre with my son. Family ticket for two people, an adult and child, 2,000 yen. Can't beat it. It's very, very good. I'm actually going quite slow when I'm collecting these gifts in this video, but uh, when you're playing the game, just uh, tap away. Don't worry about uh, waiting for the messages or reading the messages. Uh, you know when you've collected everything, because basically you'll end up with the visitor's uh, image come up. Okay, I'm at the platform now, and as you can see, all these people I'm touching have either finished and are going home, or they're waiting for someone to pick them up. The ones that are waiting to be picked up can be taken by my neighbours, and then I'll get reputation points. Okay, as you can see, here's one of my neighbours, my son in this case. Let's go to his town and see if there's anybody I can collect. Here comes my train. It looks a bit battered because there's a bug in the game. 
Thankfully they've now fixed, fixed that bug. Okay, two people to select, one for the grocers, one for the diner. You don't have to take them both, as you can see, you can just uh, tap the image again and it unselects them. If you want to, you can go back to your town without choosing anybody. That way, if you've got another neighbour, you can jump to another farm. Now, in my case, I just have my sons, so I'm going to take both the people. And they're telling me they're going to come and visit. So, all aboard my personal train. As you can see, I've got three windows. My son's train only has the one, and not as nice looking. Think he needs to repair it a little bit more. Back to my town. Train's pulling up. Welcome to my town, gentlemen. Jumping to the town hall, let's send you to the buildings you want to go to and then see what you want. Here comes my personal train as it backs into the siding. Once it's done, it'll go into maintenance and then the old. Uh, Engine will start to fill up with water, as you can see. Five hours and twenty nine minutes, or five hours and thirty minutes for maintenance. I can't wait to reduce that time. But a lot of bars are needed. As you can see, they're there, ready and waiting. And I'm halfway to getting the 4,000 points I need, so it won't be long. Okay, David's going to the diner. I wonder if he will order too much. Ryan's off to the grocery. I hate the grocery store. It always asks for items I don't really want to give out. Ah, oh, that one's not too bad. Fruit and veg, that's easy. At least it's not five or six bags of sugar like I sometimes get. Okay, now it's time to upgrade that cinema. Let's get it done. Okay, at this level there are basically no changes on the inside or the outside. Uh, usually around level 4 or 5 the uh, image seems to stay the same. Now I'm up to 10% on reduction of time, so that means they're going to be in the cinema for a shorter time. Ooh, I can upgrade the diner. Using planks, ouch. Okay, at the moment, zero. Resources are used, and now I've upgraded to 5% reduction. And that makes me level 7. wonder if the grocery store can be upgraded. 5%? Yes, okay. Now, a grocery store is easy to upgrade for me because I get so many bolts and tape in this game. Okay, 10% there now.
Okay, alright, I'm going to fill some of the orders from different buildings. Nice and quick and easy. B&B &B first of all. Diners next. Mmm, yummy cakes. Grocery store. Okay, in a minute I'm going to have one that I can't do. Here we go. And I need 13 diamonds to get the one item. No, thank you. I will jump to my town to do this. So, I need goat's milk. Okay, jumping to my farm. Are my goats... No, no feed left and the goats are hungry. Oh dear. Looks like I'm going to have to go hunting in the newspaper. Now, if I'm lucky, there will be something I can pick up. If not, I'm going to have to hunt around the world. Okay. Hey, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. Ah, there we go. Goat's milk. Seven, four, four hundred and fifty-three. That'll do nicely. I don't care about the money. Anything else? Nah. Have a quick look at the farm. Ah, there's a treasure chest. Let's have a look. Yay, coins. Ah, that pays for the goat's milk. Jumping back to my farm, then hopping over to my town. And I can fill the last request. Perfect. Okay, he's going to be done in four hours. Okay, let's see if my son has any visitors. One person on the platform. Ah, she wants to be at B. One space left. Not a problem. She can go to the B&B, &B, then overnight, ah, finish what she wants to do. And in the morning, she'll give me a nice little gift. But I wonder what the gift will be. I hope it's something useful. Okay. Goodbye, young lady. See you in the morning.